What is good, everybody? We are inside of a massive abandoned prison. This place has so many buildings, a chapel, two gym facilities, a couple of like little hospital things, and some cafeterias and stuff like that. But the real parts are these nice cell units, these big population units that they have here. This place was opened up in 1987. It only lasted until 2013. 26 years, people. This place isn't that old. Nope. I don't know why it closed down other than the fact that finances weren't very good and they weren't really maintaining the prisoners too well. The prisoners were in a bad state. There were a few suicides here and there was one major one that concluded this whole place and really put a wrap on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're here today because of Joey Underground on YouTube. Go check out his channel. Yeah. Links to IG, YouTube, all that good stuff are in the description. Go check them out, good people. Let's do it. This looks like a potential escape hatch. You can get through this rebar right here. You can go all the way down there. Kind of like the Shawshank Redemption. I was just walking in the upstairs here and noticed that there's blood all over this floor. There's also gloves. So somebody must have been attending to this person that was bleeding. There's blood all over that floor. Right now we're sitting in population. This is where all the not so bad inmates would stay. And they used to get to, you know, hang out with each other, play cards, do things. This is usually like a recreation area down here. And then you'd have a cellmate inside of here and inside of this tiny cramped cell with these little, little, with these little beds right here. He used to share this with somebody else. But what's really interesting about this particular unit that we're standing in right here, this particular area right here, in that cell right over there, is that somebody committed suicide inside of here. It was actually what caused the closing of this place was this suicide. And somebody was in cell 60 right over there and they committed suicide. How they committed suicide, I'm not sure. But I think that the person stayed in cell 60 and I think they jumped off of this. These are the scariest showers I've ever seen. Like, it really looks like, like an animal was locked inside of there. And in some cases, there might have been an animal locked inside of there.
Room number one has this like bed that has these metal like rebar things sticking out. I guess they would tie the inmates up while they slept or something. I guess they had to chain somebody up. They have this, which is pretty crazy. And then a little they wouldn't even concrete give shelf. Of, <laughs> yeah, with the chair and the table. They wouldn't even get a regular chair. This must have been for the really bad people in there. Yeah. It's like a tombstone. That's like what it looks like. It's like a concrete coffin. That's what it looks like. control room. This one more than likely shut down all the cells, worked all the alarms. You can see out of all these windows right here into both rooms. So we're now standing inside of a little chapel area here. This chapel used to be for the inmates. It's actually very cool. I always like it when the stained glass is intact. And this stained glass is all intact. people who weren't as bad as the other people. These rooms have like two sets of bunk beds and lockers, desks, and these cool little like speaker things. I don't know who they would talk to. Press it and you talk to them. These are probably like the inmates that worked on the yard. There's like basketball courts in this section. So these probably these guys probably got like more freedom to do what they wanted. What they wanted, yeah I guess so. It's interesting. I guess each person got a locker and one of these. And you have a desk, but there's no bathroom in here, so 
Maybe there's like a communal bathroom in the hallway. I don't know. I didn't see it. Yeah, they probably let them out to work, hang out, do all that stuff. Yeah. Seems like a nicer setup than this one. I like how they have all the tables still here in this one. And the colors are kind of cool, so. The cell had a classroom. Not very big, but I'm sure that there weren't very many people looking to be taught inside of here. Look at all these old controls. There's they locked down all the cells. There's literally m like mold growing on it. It's yeah. gross. Don't touch it, but. All these buttons have lights at the top of them. And if it's lit up red, it means that the door is open. So then they flip these switches to shut it all down. Make sure everybody's inside of their cells. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen the controls for one of these before. Yeah, they usually rip that by the yeah. time we get to them.
it's the whole gym set up right here. They left all the gym equipment all here to rust. And look at all this barbed wire. Yeah, that's some heavy duty stuff. They ain't even barbed wire. That's razor wire. That will cut the shit out of you. You can tell that this is where like the really bad inmate would sit because this thing you would have to like it doesn't open because it's closed by rust but you put your food in here and there would be no way for them to come out this whole that you actually see the trays the there's trays still the there? old tray in there oh wow look at that you even get the old prison tray food is segregated so like he wouldn't even have a hole to be able to stick his hand out of. Like this is like for the really bad people and there's still a jumpsuit in here. This is the courtyard for this little cell block. 
And look how tiny it is. They have barbed wire all on the top of this thing so that if they try to climb out, they wouldn't be able to get out. That is spooky. So if they got it, they were good. I don't know, it's a little scary looking. <laughs> Actually, they lock the doors. You're like in this little, if just for some fresh in, air. If you're locked inside of this building, you can't wait to get out there. Yeah. Back here, there's not much stuff, but there's some crazy shit. Like, look, a dentist chair. And then there's oh, like a little hospital bed in here and shit. Ah. Old dentist chair. That's a really cool cabinet. Alright guys, this was a massive prison exploration that we just went on. Pretty much hit every single building that was inside of here worth seeing. Yep. Our boy Joey Underground took us around this whole place. He's the ace on this spot. He's yeah. pretty much been here a few different times, has the whole place laid out, and got us all the finer points of this spot. Yeah. So it was really awesome being here. They have a great chapel, a bunch of great units where all these inmates were. We got to see some suits, some old lacrosse sticks, and other gym equipment. Awesome control rooms. I love control rooms. And some other stuff that was left behind. This was a really good explore. I love these big explorers. They kind of take up like a whole day. But you guys get to watch them in 15 minutes. It's the beauty of YouTube, right? Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna get on to the next spot. Get out of here, it's been a long day. And uh, we'll see you over there, guys. Peace. Peace.